Hey, Betty Fash. It's the 18th of March, 2018. And, um, folks, it appears to me, uh, we're going to war here. Okay? I don't know how it's going to unfold, but it is upon us. Um, simply, the, the, the UK did their 23 the other day. Three days later, Russia does their 23. And at the very same time, Russia's going to beat NASA to Mars. And the president is out there boasting about the space race to Mars with his 322 death machine there with his fist pumped in the air. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, this is just like, to me, it's absolutely ridiculously obvious that this is, in fact, what we are going to see real soon. And the 23 and the 23 are merely telling us that this separation is occurring and you need to be in the right place when it does. And by the separation, I can only explain it really through, you know, the simplest of manners. And the reality of it is, is we are, both, all of us really, we're made up from part of our mom, part of our dad, right? We get 23 chromosomes from our mother, 23 chromosomes from our father. That's how it works. And illustrating it like this is important because why we have darkness in this world and why we have this vicious lying and, you know, all of it, all the stuff that many, and not most of the world, hates. Every human, when asked the question, what do you want most in the world? They usually reply, peace, right? And men throughout all of history have promised the world peace. And it's never been achievable, and it never will be achievable. The only way it's achievable is through the Spirit of Christ. And that's just a fact. This world is cannibalistic, and it will continue to just kill itself over and over like a vicious serpent eating its tail that's what it is you have the good half of you and you have the bad half of you in the middle is the prison that's where the hatred dwells that's why god put the enmity between the serpent seed and her seed you understand and the only way that you break that enmity you break out of the prison is through the Holy Spirit. And it is, in fact, a literal, physical, DNA-based mechanism that is only put into activation when one searches with complete humility and sincerity the truth. If you love the truth, then that mechanism is in you and just waiting to be activated so that you can bring in and house the Holy Spirit that will guide you through all things, okay? And that's just a fact. And the world will convince you you can find that in other places like Buddha or Islam or the New Age or Eckhart Tolle or Oprah Winfrey. They will convince you over and over again as they have for millennia. And all you need to do is just look at uh, how that's been for the world thus far you know how how's that worked out for us you need jesus it's it literally is that simple and i'm just laying it out to you because we're going to war and it's both a physical and a spiritual war that are coming into the manifestation in the world and it's going to come to a point where you're not going to be able to deny it but you don't have to go to that point of like terror to start to call on his name you call on his name now and he will keep you through anything literally anything can come upon your life and you're good to go okay you're you're accounted for you're written in the book man once you realize that you have an eternal soul that really needs to make a decision here okay if you feel as though you don't belong in this world it's because you're right but the only way you're going to know how to actually separate yourself from this world is through Jesus Christ and his blood. And so you need to seek him. 
And it's very strange how this came back to me, actually. I was looking at both of these things, the whole Mars thing and the 23 expulsions and all these things. And it brought me to remember the, of Trump's um, Houston Astros visit he had the other day when he received the 17 jersey. And the 17, of course, stands out to me. I mean, that is telling me that, you know, all the fish are almost in the, in the net. You, in, and if you're not in the net, you gotta you gotta get over the right side of the boat. Start fishing over there. Get over there, where Jesus tells you to go. I'm just telling you, there's no time for you to mess around. And so this brought me back to the actual World Series, and I remembered this image that I had looked at, this one here that they put out, and this illustrates the same exact thing. You have the road separated. You have the guys in the white, and it's kind of nice over here. You have these guys in the orange, and it's not so nice over here. Welcome to the World Series. 23, these guys, they are sealed. They are in the book. These are the ones who have already accepted Christ. But we're still in the world. And we're yelling over to you guys, hey, come over here. There's still time. And you guys are sitting there going, well, I don't know. It is pretty crappy here, but... You know, who is this Jesus? And look at their numbers. Number 50 and number 27. 77. Jesus. 77th from Adam. How? Where did all this, this enmity come from? And all this 2323 come from? Adam and Eve. It comes all the way back there. Jesus is 77th from Adam. 77, Jesus is still in the world. You still have time. There's still an open door. You know, take it while you can. Because we're going to war. This is all I can tell you for sure. And no, I don't know what day. <laughs> but it's happening, folks. So please get right with God. That's that's the big thing. Get right with God. Okay? I pray that this makes sense to somebody out there. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 